Since series are just limits of partial sum sequences, we can use the properties of limits to evaluate series. Uh, for example, we've got this, uh, and we're already told it's convergent, and so we're just told to evaluate, find the value of this particular series. And it looks super complicated, but um, series are just limits, all right? And that means, like any other limit, we can split it up amongst a sum. So this is the same thing as i equals 0 to infinity of, let's just divide out this 2 to the i thing. So 1 over 2 to the i plus, here we're going to get 2 to the i plus 2 over 2 to the i, i plus 1 plus 2 to the i plus 2 again, all over 2 to the i, i plus 2. Okay, uh, and then I can, since a series is just a limit, it follows the sum rule like a limit does, and I can split this up into several separate limits. Actually, I'll just do two different limits, because I have to all uh, converge for this to make sense. So I'll group these two together. You'll see why in just a moment. So I get the series 1 over 2 to the i plus... All right, so why did I keep those together? Uh, I guess maybe I should have been nice and told you why. Well, we've got two of the i down here. You've got two more twos on the top. So if I cancel all the twos down here, I'm off with the two extra twos on top. And the same thing happens up here. So uh, what is that? Two squared is four over i plus one. Uh, plus, that's not a plus, is it? That's a minus. So let me fix that. The original problem had a minus, so this is a minus. So we have 2 squared over i plus 1 minus, now I've got that correct there, 4 over i plus 2. All right, so what's the point? Well, the point is that these are two separate series now, and uh, as long as they both converge, this operation is valid, and they sure do, because this series right here, I can rewrite as i equals 0 to infinity. We've seen this before. Uh, that's the geometric series. A, R to the, instead of N, we have I's, but that's fine. And that's going to get us A over 1 minus R, which is 1 minus one half, one divided by one half is two. All right, what about this guy over here? Well, this is a uh, telescoping series. This is the limit as we can say i goes to infinity, and we just plug in four over zero minus, and again, I, I miswrote this here. That's supposed to be a minus. I'm so sorry about that. Minus four over two, dot, 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 and then we, the last one that we'll have is i, so 4 over i plus 1 minus 4 over i plus 2. So we want the limit of all this, but it's all going to cancel. It's telescoping. 4 over 2, that'll get us a 4 over 2 minus 4 over 3, which will keep canceling. And so we, what we have left is 4 over 1 minus four, the limit as i goes to infinity of 4 over i plus 2. And that is a big fat zero. Since the bottom's going out to infinity, that's going to limit to zero. And so this convergent series has a value of six. Another technique we can use is something called re-indexing. So here we have this series, and it starts at a very odd index there. Uh, I'd like to change it so it's into something more familiar to me. Uh, I think I could do that. So one way I could do this, actually, is just to write out a few terms of the series. If I plug it in, I get 1 over negative 1 plus 2, plus 1 over 0 plus 2, plus 1 over 1 plus 2, 1 over 2 plus 2. That's 1 over 1, 1 half, 1 third. We recognize this as the harmonic series. And we know that that diverges. Just one of those useful facts to remember is that the harmonic series diverges. So we don't have to worry about what is its value. Okay, let me do this an alternate way, though. 
All right, and I'll rewrite the original series here. We've got a sum from m equals negative 1 up to infinity, 1 over m plus 2. And here's where re-indexing comes in a little more explicitly. Um, what I want is to, is to make this look like the harmonic series. And the fact that we're starting with this odd index bugs me. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to start at a bigger index. Let's start at 1, in fact, because we're dividing by things that don't want to divide by 0. So let's add 2, m equals 1 plus 2, to infinity. Now here's the thing. If I'm going to add 2 to my start, I've offset by 2. I've got to do the opposite offset on the inside. I have to do m minus 2 plus 2. All right, so again, let me label that so it's clear what I just did there. We started with a plus 2, so we compensate with a minus 2. All right, and that's so that when I actually plug everything in, I get the same numbers as before. Uh, I'm starting with, actually, it'll be easier to see when I simplify. So let's simplify. And so I have the series m equals negative 1 plus 2 is 1 to infinity. And here the negative 2 and positive 2 cancels. That's 1 over m. And I better end up with the same thing that I got a moment ago. That's 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth. And that sure is the same thing as what I got a moment ago. All right. And more importantly, when it's written like this, it's very obvious that this is the harmonic series. It's exactly how we were defined the harmonic series, except that usually there's an N instead of an M. And that's also fine to relabel your index with a different letter. But the harmonic series, which diverges. Just one of those important facts to know. So uh, by re-indexing, we can take complicated-looking series and rewrite them as something more familiar to help us solve them.